The other thing that takes place here is that your income will start to rise. Everyone here has started the business and that you have had the horrible moment as you've explained the opportunity to someone and they, they sit there and they nod and then they ask you that horrible, horrible question. How much money are you making? You feel like pulling out your revolver. Boom! Uh, you know, how dare you ask me that, uh, uh, that question. I hate that question. I'm not making any money. Uh, you know, I'm just brand new in the, uh, the business. How can you expect me to make any money? The problem, of course, is that, the, uh, that, that, that we, we always face that. Everyone faces that. I faced that at the very first day as I looked at that telephone. People were going to say to me, Craig, how are you doing? And that that is the barrier that we all have to get over. And that barrier sometimes is a barrier that you have to climb over more slowly than you would like. Uh, the faster you get over it, the more productive you become because that answer has a lot of power. And it allows that person who has just listened to your pers uh, presentation to confirm whether uh, what you've said is true or not without doing any due diligence. Because if you're making money, then what you're telling them must be true. And so that that's why they ask that question, is that they uh, don't want to do their due diligence on the facts of the matter. They just want to know from your uh, ability uh, or uh, to produce income for yourself. And that that is something that you need to be understanding of, is that uh, you work to get to that point. That income becomes your advertising because it confirms to people that the business is real and that it can have a result uh, that is big enough to allow people to change their lives around it. And so you have to work to that point. You then share that power with those people who come into your downline because you then join with that person when you do a, uh, a, 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 a three-way call is that you share your success so you act as the confirming factor to that person who's going to come in from uh, that downline. There is a mathematical equation, if I had a board I'd write it, there's a mathematical equation that you can put forward so that you can understand that. Is that a, a distributor is a multiplier of the activity of, uh, uh, of their downline. And a multiplier, of course, is where, you know, you know, two times four, uh, you know, is four, two times uh, eight is 16. And so uh, you are a multiplier. Your abilities multiplies the uh, success of the person that comes into the business. Because when you come into the business and you're brand, uh, brand new, people ask you that question, you don't have a good answer. People ask you uh, lots of questions and you can't answer them at all because you don't know what those answers are. And when you combine with the uh, uh, that uh, that person as the upline, you make them stronger because you've created an equation. And so the difficulty is when a new person, though, is working with a new person. Because you're a multiplier, and let's say you're a one, and that you uh, sponsor someone on sure energy, and so the equation you've created is one times one. One times one equals one. 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 Yeah. All right, you must have gone to school somewhere outside of the United States because most Americans think that's two. Uh, and one times one equals one, and that means nothing is created. And that's what happens when new people work with new people. And no one has the answers. No one has an example of uh, success. One times one equals one. Nothing is created. The frustration of this is just unbelievable because you want to be successful. It goes back to you know when you were 18 years old. Do you remember when you were 18 years old and you went out to get your first job and they asked you and said, okay, what is your resume? And you said, I have no resume. I'm 18 years old. And that you you know you go to the human resource person and they say, I'm sorry, uh, we can't hire you because you don't have any experience. And then you wake up in the middle of the night. You say, let me get this uh, straight. I can't get a job. I don't have any experience. Uh, I can't get any, any experience unless I get a job. I'll never work. I'll never work. <laughs> but that is how you feel when you're new in the business. You're one. You sponsor someone who's a one. And the equation is one. And nothing is created. And the way you break that cycle is you work with an upline that isn't a one. 
You work with someone who has the abilities, who can answer the questions, that can expose uh, the income that has been created, because now the equation is, let's say that person is a three, and now the equation turns to three times one times one, and that means something has been created. And then in that creation, you are no longer a one. You become a two. And that means the, uh, the equation has now turned to your upline is a three, you become a two, and the person you sponsor is a one. But that means something uh, more has been created. By the power and, uh, of those connections, <coughs> and by the constant increasing of productivity, what you're shooting for, because the company pays you down six levels, is you're shooting for a line of leader upon leader upon leader who understands the business, that is uh, uh, engaged in the business, and let's say the top number that you can get is a 10. And so that you're trying to, to magnify yourself within the marketing plan where it looks like this. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And so that's what creates the high incomes. And that process takes time. It takes time for everyone to learn how the business works so the questions can be answered. It takes time for everyone to create an income for themselves. And that uh, at some point, you start to see tremendous gains in income and activity. Uh, the example that I like to use in this uh, to illustrate this is, uh, is a brain piece that perhaps you heard when you were in a, grand, uh, in a grammar school, uh, situ elementary school situation. Uh, so the farmer uh, wants someone to help him on the farm and come, uh, goes to uh, the hired hand and says, come work with me and I'll pay you $50 a day. Uh, and the hired hand says uh, to him, don't, 